Hello, my friends. I welcome you to the last video of this, the 3D puzzle of the Titanic from Cubic Fun. I did a couple of things um, since the last video, the completion of the instruction manual, and I'll show you guys what I did. The first thing I did was I raised the lights, the Marconi line, because I thought they were too low. Uh, they were too close to the smokestacks. So that was the first thing that I did. The second thing I did was I took the masts out and I glued them and then I glued the all the rigging and I glued the rat lines to make them a little more secure. Not necessarily because they were loose, just, just in case for endurance. So I did both a fore and mast, uh, fore and aft masts. I glued the little flag in, a little British flag because that had fallen out. Um, and all the rigging in the back and the rat lines are glued in. And what I did in the back as well, I glued in the propeller shafts. I glued them in on both sides just because they had a tendency to fall off. And let's see, what else did I glue? Like I said, not because it was necessary, just because of endurance reasons, just to make sure they don't move. I, I glued all the cranes, the two in the front. And we've got the four aft. You can see the, the wheel deck in the back. You can see the little benches, the vents, the cargo hatches, the cranes, the deck house, all the rigging up to where the grand staircase is, the aft grand staircase. You can see the smokestacks, the boat deck, the compass platform. You can see the lifeboats and what's probably the smoking room or the gymnasium, the grand staircase in the front, all the way to the wheelhouse. And the bridge in the front and we've got the cranes, cargo hatches, we've got the well deck, and we've got the front to the bow. So she's all finished. So let's go ahead, I'm gonna light her up for you guys. The way we put the power pack in, on the bottom of the aft end of the ship, um, it's easy to just put your hand underneath and put the switch on. You can see all of the LED lights that we ran throughout the ship. And you'll see how really good she looks at night. She just kind of glows and comes to life. So this grand lady is finished, the RMS Titanic, this beautiful ship. Of course, next month is gonna be the anniversary, April 15th. She hit the iceberg on April 14th, but she sank on the 15th. And I've got many videos lined up in honor of this beautiful lady for the anniversary. But that's the build. You can see the base, the RMS Titanic, zoom out. So let's go ahead and we're going to have a little bit of green fun, uh, green screen fun with her.